Today, I'm going to teach you the number one hack that's helped me build my following from zero to a hundred thousand real quick. Hi friends. I'm Britt. I'm a marketing expert. Not only do I work in marketing professionally, but on the personal side, I've grown this YouTube page to over 120,000 subscribers organically and my Instagram to almost 80,000 followers. Listen closely. This is the number one shift you need to make to go from zero to a hundred thousand subscribers. Stop with the you and focus on value. One more time, say it with me. Don't make it about you, make it about value. People are here on YouTube because they're looking for value. Whether they're here to learn something or to be entertained, people are here for a reason. And so you need to start thinking how you can provide value. Once you start providing value here on YouTube, you establish what's called the like, know, and trust factor. People are gonna wanna naturally know about your day because they like, know, and trust you. But when you're first getting started, you don't have that credibility or rapport. So it's like, why would people wanna just tune in and see what you're up to during the day? You gotta provide value. And on a business side, no one really wants to tune in to hear your company banging their chest about their latest accolades. Rather, they wanna tune in because they wanna learn something. What's in it for them? You always have to think what's in it for them. So out of all the things I tried, relatable content, lifestyle videos, freestyles, the one thing that worked were shuffle tutorials. And when I realized that this type of content was getting at least five times the amount of normal engagement on my regular videos, that is when I tripled down and you need to do the same. So for example, let's say you're a Gen Z fitness influencer. Instead of doing lifestyle videos, especially when you're first getting started and no one really knows who you are, why not do a workout or talk about the five biggest mistakes that people are making in their fitness journeys? Something like that, anything that is providing value. Let's take real estate for example. If you are just getting started and no one wants to see a day in the life video, maybe they do, but that's not gonna help you go viral. What will help you go viral are videos like, here's what $2,000 will get you in Los Angeles. Or maybe you can do a series here on YouTube that helps people go through the home buying process step by step. And last but not least, let's take a company. Let's say you are a moving company and you want to start a YouTube channel. What's really going to help you go viral here on YouTube is if you can provide value. Instead of just showing your movers, the warehouse, talking about your company, telling people why they should do business with you, why not make a video like three things everyone forgets when they move? Or why not use your expertise to do a step-by-step -step video series on how to properly pack things like your TV, plates and bowls, furniture, you name it. See, the key in everything is to take the you out of it, especially when you're first getting started and focus on the value. As time goes on, more people are gonna want the you, they're gonna wanna know your story, and that comes with time. But initially, providing value is the quickest way to go from zero to 100,000 subscribers. If you made it this far, do me a solid and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And let me know in the comments if you have any marketing questions whatsoever. I'm always in there answering as many questions as I can. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.